Welcome to the Love Your Marriage Podcast, hosted by Joseph and Crystal Gruber. We are here to awaken authentic Catholic culture through holy matrimony. And that begins with our marriage, and now yours. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Direct, O Lord, our actions by thy holy inspiration, and carry them on by thy gracious assistance, that every word and work of ours may begin in thee, and by thee be happily ended. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Welcome to Love Your uh, Marriage. I am Joseph Gruber host of this podcast, here to talk to you a little bit about this idea that your marriage should be open to life. So this is one of the vows that you make on your wedding day, if you are Catholic, that you and your spouse will be open to life. And so I wanted to poke at this a little bit because I think it requires two steps back to really understand why being open to life is such a good idea. So I think there are some fundamental misapprehensions, some misunderstandings about being open to life that get in the way of people really living this out to the full. And I think these come down to our understanding of what it is to be human, our understanding of the natural law, under our understanding of what life is about. And I think 10 minutes is not going to solve all of that for you, but maybe it will at least broach the conversation and begin a conversation that you can have with your spouse, with friends, with family, and see if this goes anywhere. So this idea, life is worth living, sharing, and multiplying. And I think it's really good to get it in that order. Your life is worth living. Your life is worth living. That means that there is a goodness to you existing, and there is a goodness that you are called to pursue, and that pursuit is good as well. So, many people get confused about this. They don't think that their life is worth living. They think that they are in some way, shape, or form a hindrance to the flourishing of other people, that they are an imposition, that them taking up space is taking something away from the rest of the universe. But that's not the Catholic understanding. That's not the understanding from natural philosophy. The, the, the understanding that we have is that it is good that you are here. It is good that you are here, and it is good for you to pursue goodness. That there is a kind of excellence to your life that is yours for the pursuit. So your life is worth living. Many people who don't understand that will find the next two things literally incomprehensible, which is why it's worth dwelling on this just a little bit. Your life is worth living. Whatever kind of hardship you're going through, whatever kind of suffering or loss you have endured, you are engaged in the great drama of your life. You only have one life to live. And it is a good one. And there is a beauty to it. And there is something in the facing of the fullness of the truth of your life that will cause you to become the man or woman you are called to be. So, your life is worth living. Your life is also worth sharing. If you think that your life is worth living, it's going to make more sense that your life is worth sharing. This is what we find in the healthiest of families, in our families of origin. We have this realization that living life within the context of a family is good, that the shared life of the home is a good thing. That's not how everyone is raised. That's not everyone's experience. And some people are being taught quite the opposite. So even if they hold on to this idea that their life is worth living, they may have this idea that the sharing of life is something problematic. And that might be either because of burns, or there might be some element of pride going on saying, yes, my life is worth living, but sharing with you, you are not worth living with. And so that fundamental disparity is going to make shared life nonsensical. But it is worth sharing. We are called to community. We are called to community. Uh, We are made in the image and likeness of God. God is a community of persons. And we are made in his image. We are meant for a community of persons. And we experience this uh, through siblings. We experience this through friendship, especially true friendship. This friendship founded on the love of the other because of their goodness, their character, our desire for them to flourish. And it is uh, most profoundly experienced in the marital bond. 
that life is worth sharing, that it is better to suffer with this spouse than to be without this spouse, without the suffering. That is a breakthrough moment. That is something that is so fundamental that I, I just want to urge you to, to consider the fact that it is worth sharing your life with your spouse. And only then does the third pro- proposition really make sense, that life is worth multiplying. Your life is the life of your spouse is worth multiplying into the future. And that is accomplished most especially through biological reproduction and the raising of the children. It is also accomplished through spiritual multiplication, through the passing on of the goodness and truth and beauty that the two of you have inculcated into your home by adoption, by friendship, by evangelization, these are ways of multiplying life out. That the the call to marriage, the call to married life, is a call to fruitfulness, both biologically and spiritually. And if the biological is either off the table uh, because of infertility or because you are beyond childbearing years, um, then there is still this call to spiritual fruitfulness. And spiritual fruitfulness will make sense if you both believe that life is worth living and life is worth sharing, and then life being worth multiplying flows from that idea. I think there are couples that get tripped up because they think, yeah, my life is worth sharing, and yes, my life is worth uh, sharing with my spouse even. They, they still agree with that. But the introduction of children may introduce an element of, is is this life, this shared life within this context, this chaotic, frenzies, frenzied, frantic context, is this worth multiplying? And this is where I, I, I think there's a, a call for us to step up and say, if family life is becoming unbearable, that is something that you guys can address, that you as husband and wife are tasked with creating such a home, creating such a life, creating a slice of paradise such as you can in which raising children becomes not just a duty to be performed, but a joy to be lived. Does that sound like crazy talk? For some of you, it might sound like crazy talk right now. In which case, all I can say is there is room for incremental improvement. There is also room for God to intervene, but there is definitely room for incremental improvement an incremental improvement, little baby steps toward the life that you guys would consider worth worth living, worth sharing, and worth multiplying. That is the great task. That is the, the inclination of us as human beings to live lives worth living, sharing, and multiplying. And so I want to encourage you, if this is something that you or your spouse is struggling with, that it's, it's always a good idea to take a step or two back and to say, okay, if, if we don't feel open to life, if there isn't like a major financial or, uh, or physical or like medical um, or psychological reason, but we still aren't open to life, uh, to go back and say, okay, are we both convinced that life is worth living? Because if one of us is starting to despair, if one one of us is becoming despondent, this is a great place to entrust ourselves to the divine mercy because his mercy is endless and his treasury of compassion inexhaustible. And so we can trust God to be merciful, to be loving, even loving of such people as ourselves, you and I, dear listener. And he thinks that our life is worth living. He has created us, he is sustaining us, and he is acting right now. At all times and in every place, God draws close to man. That means that this time, as you're listening to this, God is drawing close to you and affirming that your life is worth living. And if you are married, to know that your life is worth sharing with your spouse. If you are in a valid Catholic marriage, that it is worth sharing that marriage with that person. Obviously, if there are uh, abuses going on, the the sharing of life becomes different. Uh, you know, don't don't suffer abuse. Don't don't allow that. Um, 
that is uh, an occasion for removal. Uh, but for all of you other couples, I want to let you know it's okay to love sharing life with your spouse. And it's okay to change your life such that it becomes a more and more of a joy to share life with them. And if you have both of those covered, the multiplication of life makes sense. I really like my wife. She really likes me. Not always sure why, because sometimes I struggle with the whole idea that life is worth living. But she helps remind me that it is. And so raising children that are a weird blend of me and her and their own unique selves makes a whole lot more sense if we know that life is worth living, sharing, and multiplying. So I wanted to offer that to you. If these are new concepts to you, praise God. They are powerful concepts, and I am delighted to share them with you. I do want to share a little bit more. We have some events coming up, both locally. We are in South Central Michigan, so we have a couple of things going on in the upcoming future. You can find out more about those on ouroutpost.org slash events. We also will be having some online offerings in the not-too-distant future as well. So if you want to check those out. The other thing is, if you're listening this far, if you're listening past the 10-minute mark on our podcast, you probably know somebody who would also listen to this episode, whether it be your spouse, a family member, a friend. Uh, Would you, could you share this episode? We have a relatively small listener base currently. We would like to serve as many people as God desires us to. And part of the limiting factor is your desire to share this episode. And so I'm asking you, would you please share this? If you can't think of anyone to share this with, would you at least go on and rate and review this either on Apple Podcasts or on uh, YouTube, finding our video and uh, giving it a thumbs up and a comment? Thanks so much, Joseph. Love to hear that life is worth living, sharing, and multiplying. Whatever it is, um, would love to see your comments. Would love to see a, a review if you have a review to add. These matter because most people come across this podcast because of algorithms, and algorithms seem to be fairly touchy when it comes to whether or not people are rating and reviewing. So that's my ask. If you've listened this far, hopefully you have something uh, nice to say. Uh, and if you have something that you, you're like, Joseph, I, I really want to, to push at you with this or, or something, send us a, an email at hello at our outpost.org. Would love to hear your feedback there as well. So, your life is worth living, your marriage, it's worth sharing your life with your spouse, and the two of you, it's worth multiplying the life, the love that the two of you have, because your marriage is worth loving. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This has been a production of Our Outpost, a ministry to awaken authentic Catholic culture through holy matrimony. Please like, share, subscribe, rate, and review if you found this helpful and encouraging. Find out more at OurOutpost.org.